Hello everybody, this is Deidre with Paper Crafts and Planners and I have the May 2020 Club EP or Club Echo Park subscription box to share with you. you. Now this collection, you may not be able to get the May subscription box still, but you can get pieces of this collection and, and maybe the whole thing put together packaged. I'm not really sure, but I will link below to whatever I find. The way this works is I get a bill somewhere between the 1st and the 10th through PayPal and I pay it by the 10th of every month, and then they don't ship out their subscription boxes until sometime around between the 20th and 22nd, somewhere around in there, depending on weekends and things like that. So I just received it last Friday. Anyway, I think this will probably go up on the first week of June, and like I said, I just received it. So, but I'm gonna show it to you because they may have this still available if they didn't sell out, and they also will for sure have pieces of this collection. This is called Farmhouse Market. As usual, they have an inspiration page and some directions on putting together a 12 by 12 and um, also putting together this little cute little gift packaging. Really cute. Okay, and I know that Echo Park is very into silhouette. That is their, I have a cricket, but boy, isn't that a pretty, that cameo foreign pink? It's tempting, huh? And then they have some, uh, excuse me, some other collections they're going to show you. This is the summertime collection. It's cute. <coughs> and Club Echo Park members always get a 10% discount on anything they buy on the Echo Park site. Okay, first of all, this is really pretty washy. If I can find the start of it, I'll kind of roll some out so you can see. Hold it up a little bit. That is super pretty. I love these muted shades that are in this collection. Here is the chipboard. Let me see if I can get it without. I'll take it out here so you can see it without a glare. There are quite a few pieces on here. I don't know if it says on the packaging, but really cute. Look at that. It looks like a drawer. You remember at the library when we had to look everything up on cards, I'm showing my age with the Dewey Decimal System. It looks like one of those drawers you would pull out. Future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Really cute. There's a grater. <clears throat> These are super cute. Okay, those are the chipboard accents. Here is the stamp set. Really pretty also. This is us. Thank you. Happy day. Thanks, beauty. I love that hanging lamp. And again, that drawer. Really pretty. And you can never go wrong with more butterfly stamps, right? <laughs> Use those all the time. Okay, here is the ephemera. Let's see if we can just get this out of here. And I'll do kind of a quick showing of the pieces. It won't take too long. Vintage Market Antique Art. Oh, that is so pretty. I've been making a lot of pop-up boxes lately. This says, the true way to live is to enjoy every moment as it passes and surely is in the everyday things around us that the beauty of life lies. Laura Ingalls Wilder. That's pretty. So I've been making a lot of pop-up boxes and these kinds of things look really cute in there. As a matter of fact, this week I have a video going up. Probably will, have, if it's gone up by the time this shows, then I will um, link it below. Showing you how to make some pop-up boxes with a die that I have. And then I'll be doing one showing how to make it without a die you cutting the pieces out yourself. How pretty this is. Picture perfect, that would be great in a scrapbook or a mini album, however you preserve your memories. All the things. And as usual, this centerpiece pops out, so you can use this however you want. A lot of their dies, their little die cut ephemera does that. Oh, pretty. Vintage. Okay, I did not notice, but my cat is in here, so hopefully we won't get someone hopping up in here. I just heard her messing around in the corner. I wasn't born in a barn, but I got here as fast as I could. Cute. Okay, this one doesn't pop out. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. We saw that before. Beauty. Call me old-fashioned. Little cake plate. Little banner flag. Clothespin. These banner flags are adorable. Look at all those colors, how they coordinate. Look at that. <clears throat> Maybe I'll try one of those videos where they take a collection and do 10 cards with it. 
I'll be able to do a lot more than 10 cards. See how much I can get out of this collection. I must have flowers always and always, Claude Monet. Oh, that is gorgeous. Okay, that is the ephemera. And then this time, they did not have a six by six paper pack, which I really, really enjoy those. So I hope they go back to it next month. But instead they have these puffy stickers, which I mean, they're cute. I just won't use them as much as I would use a six by six paper pack for sure. And look, these are kind of repeats. I love that create beauty, cherish every moment. They are really pretty and the ampersand, love that. Oh, and there's a couple of jars. Super cute. Okay. <clears throat> and let's get to the paper here. And I'll flip through really quickly and show you all the different papers. They are double-sided, of course. And I believe there are two each of 12 different prints in here. Oh, my goodness. And these are Cartabella. You can tell because of the thickness and the texture to the paper. Really pretty. Okay, there's that one. I love these cut-apart sheets, too. So pretty. And in the back. Gorgeous. And I love that they have the strips. They're so versatile I'll be able to do things with these zip strips at the bottom. Look at all those file drawers. And tags. Those always come in handy. And a check. This is kind of a pinkish check, in case you're wondering. And it's not showing up really good. There's the barn saying. There's a strip at the bottom. Look, it looks like there's cellophane tape or scotch tape on there. So cute. Oh, look at that check. That green and the blues and the pinks. Beautiful. These wreaths are gorgeous. Oh, that would make a beautiful 12 by 12 layout. You don't have to do much. Or even a framed piece for your wall with a picture in the middle. Gorgeous. They have 12 by 12 frames at Michael's. I'm sure they have them Hobby Lobby, wherever. I don't usually shop at Hobby Lobby, but <clears throat> they have them. And they make really gorgeous when you have a beautiful piece of paper and then just a smaller picture in the middle. The real things haven't changed. It is still best to be honest and truthful, to make the most of what you have, to be happy with simple pleasures, have courage when things go wrong. That's another Laura Ingalls Wilder quote. When you love what you have, you have everything you need. This is our happy place. Today is a good day for a good day. So pretty. Another floral. Oh, look at these baskets. Black and white check. Those always come in handy. Floral with barns. And this is beautiful. It's almost like a mint green. So pretty. Oh, look at this. I wonder if this is a Laura Ingalls Wilder book in here. The page is from, I'm not sure of it. <clears throat> okay, I didn't see any repeats, so these are all different pages. So I was wrong, we're not gonna see repeats. They're all different. So pretty, oh my gosh. And then this is a sticker sheet, so you can see. And as usual, strips on the bottom, full strips. Those are so pretty. Oh, look at these flags here. Love that. I must have flowers always and always. Same quote. This is our happy place. Yeah, this is just gorgeous. So I'm really looking forward to doing something with this. And if I get if I get around to it in the next little bit, I will definitely come back and show how, how much I was able to get out of this one collection. Because I think that's always nice to see. You know what else? There was no uh, flat-backed jewels this time at all. So I'll have to look back through my previous videos and my previous collections to kind of see what, if they're doing less in the box. I mean, this is a lot of stuff. It's $29.99 and um, that includes shipping. So it is a good deal, but I just wonder if this is not as much as I received in previous boxes. It'll be interesting for me to go back and check. But I love this farmhouse market. And like I said, I'll link to whatever I can find below. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Happy crafting.